How should I prepare for logical reasoning? Very similar to data interpretation. Again, practice helps. Right? I keep hearing this very often. Uh, logical reasoning, I can practice 25 sets, 30 sets, but the puzzle in the exam is going to be different. So how does this practice really help me? It pays off. It pays off a lot. It pays off in a bunch of ways. One, you get used to standard puzzles, like the grid puzzle or the sequencing puzzle or the series puzzle or the selection puzzle. You get to have a certain pattern about storing constraints in your mind, writing down data points in your sheet of paper, and those really help. You get tuned to one type of puzzle. And the standard template, you need to get tuned to them. The more standard templates you get tuned to, the better your brain gets at picking something just slightly offbeat, slightly unconventional. So don't, don't believe that preparing for one type of puzzle has no payoff for another type of puzzle. It doesn't work. In fact, I would go to the extent of saying anywhere where you use your brain slightly unconventional. Suppose, I mean, taking a book of Sudoku puzzles and solving 15 of them, I think can improve your logical reasoning ability. You just become that little better at picking some pattern, something there. Logical reasoning is not practiced on a, on a very linear, in a linear fashion. You can't say, look, I'll take 10 puzzles of this kind, 10 puzzles of that kind, and suddenly become better. You have to mix it up. But everything, every template that you study and every variant that you study is helping you in some way for this unconventional left field, something different that you might face in your exam. So don't believe that it has no payoff. That is very vital. Uh, practice helps and practicing different type of puzzles helps. Practicing stuff like Sudoku helps. Your brain starts getting more friendly with picking patterns and that is very useful.